It's a sad fact, but obesity is on the rise in America. And so there's a lot of discussion about things like body mass index. Hi, I'm Janice Crenetti, and I'm here to talk to you about what is body composition. When somebody talks about body composition, they're really talking about the different types of things that are in your body and how much of each there is. Primarily, they're looking at bone, muscle, and fat. In a lean person, they're going to have a lot of muscle and a lower body mass index. Scientists say, doctors say, that a healthy BMI for an adult male would be between, oh, let's say 13 and 17, whereas in women, they carry a little bit more fat in their body to help with reproductive functions, carrying babies, things like that. So they're going to have a BMI that's more around 20 to 25%. When you start to get into the area of 29% and even into 30%, now you're talking about a body composition with a lot of fat. And that's when people are beginning to be considered to be clinically obese. Obviously, that's not good for your body. It's not how you want your body to function. Now, there's several different ways of measuring your body composition. If you've ever gone to a gym and they've done some initial measurements, they might actually use something called a caliper, which actually pinches part of your skin and measures the amount of fat that's there. In some cases, if you want a really, really accurate sense of your body mass index, you can actually go to places where they'll put you in a big water tank and use your buoyancy level to determine how much fat you're carrying. But again, you want to make sure that you've got that body mass index in a healthy range, 20 to 25 for women, 13 to 17 for men. Keep that body in good shape. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What is Body Composition?